It's nearly December. I thought I'd do a bit of a Christmassy video. First of many. It's cold, it's wet, I've got a cold, and I wish Sean Evans who's just looking at a um, book. Hello, Mr. Ash Thomas Films. I'm doing okay, apart from Millie's a bit upset because I forgot the DD. We're at Middleport Pottery for the light switch on, so let's go take a look around. We've got a nice little brass band behind us making ready for Christmas. Never been this place before. You ever been here before? I've literally just said no, never. <laughs> Yeah. It's very old. I think they film like Piggy Blinders or something in these streets. So I might be walking on the steps of the uh, famous people. Lots of lights to ready to be turned on later on. Nice right, mate. We have found food. I've had a cake. He's had a turkey bath. Amelia's had cake as well. Yeah, Try and make up front. Not getting the DD. Yeah, don't forget dubbers when you're on a night out. Now, if you ever come to Middleport Pottery, which is just here, the car park's just there, there's a new section called Harper Street, which has uh, got a very, 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 very nice cake shop, which has cupcakes. If you like a good cupcake, visit Harper Street. You don't have to pay to go in, you can just come down here and get cupcakes. We have them for like Christmas, season, birthdays, and all sorts of different things. So, uh, let's go check out Harper Street. Amelia's still got a on the main side, you just got a lot of houses, but they're not really houses, they're shops. Cake shop is closed. Nickabee's Cupcakes on Facebook if you want any nice cupcakes. Check them out, very nice. I would highly recommend the cupcakes. I think we might be a bit lost. Sean, where are we? Um, we're coming up towards the bottle, so, This looks like a storeroom to me, mate, this one. Just to realise how Sean managed to find his way through. There's a donut stall just here, Project D Donuts. We all know how much you love a good donut, mate. Yeah, we know how I love a good donut. The D stands for. Disappointment. Damn, that's expensive. Amelia still doesn't have a DD, but Mummy is on her way with the emergency DD, so we will be in luck soon. Should we go down there? We haven't been down there yet, have we? Nope. We're inside a bottle kiln, Amelia. Yeah. Oh, look. Look, we're going here. It. Yeah. Never been in one of these before, have you? No. Welcome to a bit of the old Stoke on Trent with the number one YouTuber Ash Thomas Films over here in a kiln at Middleport Pottery. Don't forget to subscribe because number one YouTuber in Stoke on Trent history. Um, we talk about all things history here and uh, we look at all different places in Stoke. So if you want to see something a bit more exciting, maybe subscribe to Sean as well. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Thank you. It doesn't sound as good out here. It sounds better in here because it echoes. Whereas in here it's very boring and bland. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Nice little choir there for little Christmassy songs. We found uh, a pub. With a big queue for the bar. The lights will be illuminating Middleport Pottery in Harper Street from tonight through New Year's Day. Imagine if we did all this uh, pageantry and one bulb came on. Three, two, one, zero! <laughs> The trip there, there's nothing on the kiln. Sean reckoned the kiln was gonna have lights on there. They missed, they missed the trip there, that would, would have been, been nice. Good. So, what was the point in the whistle then? Can you just comment below and just tell us what the point in the, the whistle is if you've been down here before? It seems a bit, a bit random. You sound like the old guy, a family guy. <laughs> <laughs> Becky's just admiring the um, artwork that I made. It was a reindeer, it did have eyes and a nose, but they fell off. It's turned off, saved the day. Got the DD, silence now. Perfect. Don't forget your DD, ring your wife. The fabulous fizz bar. I'm gonna keep drinking until I see some more lights. Sean's just talking to his phone, weirdo. Who talks to the phones now? Apparently, this here on the schedule is called the garden. I think next year they should do the Christmas light switch on, maybe down the street where the lights come on. You could have them coming off at like different points rather than round there where you don't see anything apart from a bit of steam out of a chimney. It looks very Christmassy down here though, it's very nice. I love our museums, always have these really old school lights. For an hour, lad. Bow kick and go against the wall. 
I think the best time to come is probably after half past six because everybody goes home when the lights get switched on so you get the place to kind of to yourselves which is pretty nice really it's very Christmassy got Christmas music on we're four pound a lot of visits worth coming out a lot of few bars what do you think? Yeah, not too bad for four quid, was it? But I think they should do the light switch on maybe here next time, and then everybody can stand there and they can watch the lights being turned on rather than down the bottom. We saw a horn, but we didn't see any lights. I'll see you next time. So thanks for watching. See you later.